also as a re member of state representative at the Council of Europe. At the moment, I'm chairing the uh, expert group on human rights in information society. And due to the absence of the Council of Europe, I might be one of the very few who can bring in a little bit also of, of the work that we are doing. And just to answer a few, a few things that have been said, um, the Council of Europe uh, does a lot of work <coughs> in, in protecting the rights and freedoms, uh, apart from cybercrime, but rights and freedoms uh, uh, of citizens like, like uh, uh, freedom of expression, privacy, and, and other rights. And uh, in, in the group that I'm uh, chairing, we, we decided to, to uh, apart from using the traditional mechanisms like uh, uh, recommending member states to do this and that and to take care of this and that, that we have started to contact uh, the industry directly we try to identify what are the key actors in the information society, in the, in, 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 in the internet, that have a role with regard to uh, the human rights of, of the citizens, of the users, with regard to their freedom of expression, with regard to their privacy. And we have realized that many industry actors are in a difficult situation and, uh, because there are certain expectations or different expectations to them from law enforcement agencies, but also from, from a human rights point of view, that they are sometimes and especially the ISPs squeeze into a situation where they themselves have an interest having a clearer uh, view on what their roles and res uh, responsibilities are and also what the limits of their responsibilities are. And we have engaged in, into uh, uh, cooperation, for instance, with uh, European uh, Internet Service Providers, and we have uh, elaborated jointly with them uh, guidelines that help the uh, ISPs uh, to be more aware of, of the, the uh, effects of their work with regard to the human rights and also including privacy and freedom of expression of their customers, of their clients, and how they can in, uh, empower their own staff, people who are dealing, uh, people are working for ISPs, to how to help the small ISPs that maybe are not, uh, do not have the resources to, to, to follow meetings like an IGF and so on. We have engaged uh, in, in, uh, in uh, uh, working out guidelines for the gaming industry, the European gaming industry, close contacts also with Microsoft, who, who are uh, very active in, in that field, that we try to uh, in raise awareness with those who create the games, those, those who design the games, that they should be aware of the effect that, that uh, their, their games can have and, and how they could uh, follow kind of human rights standards if they want, because it's voluntary guidelines, but it's the, 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 the willingness of the gaming industry is quite high because they fear, of course, if they do not uh, give themselves uh, some standards that they that there might be laws that might prohibit certain kind of games and so on. So there is an interest from both sides in self-regulatory mechanisms that work, and whether they work or not remains to see. We presented these guidelines in October this year. <coughs> There's more work that we plan uh, that we plan to do in this field. Uh, we are also thinking about, and there was a workshop this morning on, on the governance of gatekeepers, on those <coughs> mainly private sector actors who are not media but who uh, uh, shape the access to content and of search engines. If you take the example of search engines and privacy, there are search engines that have a code of conduct with regard they store your data only two days. Others do not have su such kind of things. And uh, if the willingness is there, on behalf of the search engines, would be ready to work with them to help them set up uh, a kind of set, uh, uh, a set of voluntary principles which they can adhere to in order to, to, to uh, help the user uh, find out where his privacy is, is better protected. Uh, this, this is just one example. And uh, for all those who care about uh, uh, the identity and privacy and, 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 and dignity of, of, of the dignity of identity and uh, of children, but not only of children, there is a workshop on Saturday morning. Um, it was in it initiated by the Council of Europe and a few people are, are now carrying this uh, initiative forward um, on, on uh, expression and image and identity online. Uh, this was workshop number 18 uh, that was scheduled for tomorrow and now we are now merging this with the workshop 32 uh, in the time slot of the workshop 32 about uh, the security, uh, uh, dignity and privacy of children in, in the online world. So you're very much invited to join this. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, and you mentioned the Council of Europe. We've had a couple of questions actually. Uh, the first is actually from the Council of Europe, who are unable to be 